Welcome back. This is Mrs. Rubright with Advanced Geometry. Today's notes are on 9.3, Perform Reflections. So in example one, graph reflections in horizontal and vertical lines. The vertices of triangle ABC are A, 1, 3, B, 5, 2, and C, 2, 1. Graph the reflection of triangle ABC described in the line N, which is X equals 3. So first, I just want to remind you guys that you always have to get into the elevator before you can go up or down. So for A, we go over to 1 and up to 3, and that's where A is located. So we are taking our original point A, and we are reflecting it over the line x equals 3. Where does x equal 3? x equals 3, 1, 2, 3, right here. This is the x-axis, x is 3 right here. Where else is x 3? x is 3 everywhere vertically on this line. This is 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, a million, 3, negative 2, and so on. Everywhere along this vertical line, the, at, the value of x is 3. It stays constant. It is vertical. Vertical lines have an undefined slope, just a little extra tidbit. All right, so if we're reflecting over this line, we are just going to count to the line and count that far away from the line. So we're going 1, 2 to the line. So we go 1, 2 away from the line, and that is where our A prime is. We put the little apostrophe to say, hey, dude, I am the image. I am prime. I am the result of this reflection. All right, so let's look at B. So we have our B right here. Count to the line, 1, 2 to the line, 1, 2 away from the line, and here's our image of B. And then let's look at our C. Our C is originally here. It is 1 to the line, 1 away from the line. Here is our C prime. If I folded my um, piece of paper exactly on this line, the A and A prime would be on top of each other. The B and B prime would be on top of each other, and the C and C prime would be perfectly on top of each other. And that is what happens when you have a reflection. So let's look at our next example. The vertices of triangle ABC are as follows. Graph the reflection over the line Y equals 1. Pause the video and try this on your own. All right, guys, so you should have attempted this problem on your own. So the first thing you're going to do is draw your X and Y axis. So here's our Y axis, here's our X axis, and we are going to plot the following coordinates. So we have 1, 1, 2, 3, that's our A. We have 2, 3, 4, 5, 2 is our B, and 2, 1 is our C. So here is our original pre-image. This is our original shape. It is our pre-image. I cannot draw for the life of me, so sorry. All right, so graph the reflection after it is reflected over Y equals 1. So everywhere on this line, Y is 1. All right. So our C and our C prime are in the exact same place, and that's totally acceptable. It's on one, it's on the line, so we just keep it right there in the same spot. We have one to the line, one away from the line is our B prime, and our A is two to the line, two away from the line is our A prime. And here is our reflection over the line Y equals one. To give you a better picture of this, I'm just going to remove this and show you a nice, clean, professional picture of what's going on. All right, graph the reflection of ABC from example one in the given line. So now we're going to reflect these coordinates over the line Y equals four. So once again, plot the original coordinates, count to the line, count that far away from the line. So here is our original right here. So we're going to be counting to the line and counting that far away from the line. So Y equals four is located here. One to the line, one away from the line is our prime. One, two, three to the line. One, two, three away from the line is our prime. One, two to the line. One, two to the, away from the line is our prime. The primes have those nice little apostrophes. That's what tells you that this is the image versus over here, ABC. Triangle ABC is our pre-image. Pre-image, image. If we had an image of an image, if there was something that we wanted to do to the image, then we would have A prime prime or B prime prime or C prime prime. That would represent the image of the image. All right, so graph a reflection of triangle ABC in example one in the given line. Now we're going to reflect over that line X equals negative three. So pause the video and attempt this problem. All right, guys, so you should have attempted this problem by now. So let's reveal it. So if we are reflecting over the line x equals 3, x equals 3 is a vertical line everywhere on this line. The x value is 3. So if we're counting to the line, this one's a little annoying because we are going by 2s over here. 
So it's going over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? Because it's going over one, two, three, four. Four to the line, four away from the line. Over here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to the line, so eight away from the line. Two, four, five to the line, so five away from the line. And that's how we're going to reflect it. Be careful about um, <clears throat> the scale that they're using. So this one's using a scale of two on the x-axis. It's only using a scale of one on the y-axis, so sometimes they use different scales on different axes, and you have to be very careful about that. y equals 2, reflecting the same points over y equals 2. So y equals 2 is going to be a horizontal line. So if we're counting 1 to the line, 1 away from the line, 1 to the line, sorry, over here, 1 to the line, 1 away from the line, and our b is on the line, so our b prime is also on the line. If we fold the paper down this line, these would be perfectly on top of each other. The endpoints of FG, of segment FG, are as follows. F is negative 1, 2, and G is 1, 2. Reflect the segment in the line Y equals X. Graph the segment and its image. So first off, where is the line Y equals X? <clears throat> so if I have my axis, I have the point negative 1, 2 and I want to reflect this point over y equals x. Well, where is y equals x? So if y is 1, x is 1. If y is 2, x is 2. If y is 0, x is 0. If y is negative 1, x is negative 1. So it's going to be this diagonal line. So in order to reflect it over this diagonal line, I have a box or square method that is really easy for this. And all I'm doing is I'm literally making a square horizontally and vertically, and I continue it out, and it shows me where my point goes. This works best on graph paper. So let's take a look on here on graph paper. So once again, if I did my square method, it shows me that if my f is here, my f prime is here. So instead of it being at negative 1, positive 2, it's at positive 2, negative 1. Do you guys see what happened? What is our rule? It went from negative 1, positive 2 to positive 2, negative 1. It's a flip-flop. It switched your x and your y. So on my g prime, do you think it's going to do the same thing, a flip-flop? Let's see. 2, 1. There's my G prime. It is. You can do the box method or flip-flop your X and your Y. You see how that works? So reflect FG from example 2 in the line Y equals negative X. So in Y equals negative X, instead of it being like this, it's the opposite. So if it's negative 1, it's positive 1. If it's negative 2, it's positive 2. If it's 0, it's 0. So it's this diagonal. So if my original point is negative 1, 2, and I do my box method, my f prime will be here. Let's take a look on a piece of graph paper. So once again, we can still do our box method. If we go to the line, horizontally and vertically, and then continue the square, we can see where our f prime should be. So f went from negative 1, positive 2, to negative 2, positive 1. So what happened here? It flipped and changed their signs. x, y becomes negative y, comma, negative x. This is the rule for um, reflecting over y equals negative x. The rule for reflecting over y equals x is just xy becomes yx. So using this rule, this would be 2, 1, make them the opposite signs. So negative 2, negative 1, let's check. Negative 2, negative 1, it checks out. Or you could just use your square method. So you're looking at this, you don't know where the g prime is supposed to be, so you go horizontally and vertically to the line of reflection, and you complete the square. 
right? You just make this into a square and you can see that, oh, the corner of the square is right here at G prime. So let's look at that again, because some people are giving me these looks. So, I want to get rid of this just so I can pretend you don't see this, where G is. All right, so you have no idea where G is. It's gone. All right, so. Let's look at the G. We're going vertically to the line. We're going horizontally to the line of reflection. And then we're turning this into a square. So I'm just going to keep going over. I'm going to go down. And wherever these two meet, that is where your G prime should be. Make sense? Same thing for your F. So your F, over, down, make a square. F prime. You're going to buy books. Your friend is going to buy CDs. Where should you park to minimize the distance you will both walk? So instead of counting where the middle parking spot is, because that would just be too easy, or just picking a spot that's somewhere in the middle, because, you know, who wants to do math when you're at the strip mall besides the fact that how do you know that all those parking spots are actually going to be empty and if they are are those really places that you want to go so many questions well in geometry we want to just complicate this so this is what they actually want you to do they want you to reflect your B over the line and then connect it with A so that you can actually see where you should park so they want you to reflect the B over the line. And then you actually connect it with A. And it shows you that you should park right here. Technically in between the two spots. If you park in between the two spots, there is a good probability that someone might key your car. Just saying. So yeah, that would be the shortest distance that you guys can both walk the same ex exact distance. What does this remind you of? Think about Pamacico. Your perpendicular bisectors meet at the Pamacico circumcenter. And that's when we have the hot dog stand, right? So that the hot dog distribution stand the distribution center is equal distance to all hot dog stands so that every vendor has to walk the same distance, right? Or you can meet at a park that's equal distance to your friend's houses. So that's that example going on again. All right, so the vertices of triangle D, E, F are D at 1, 2, E at 3, 3, and F at 4, 0. Find the reflection of triangle D, E, F in the y-axis using the multi uh, matrix multiplication. Graph the triangle and its image. So we have our original. We're going to write our D vertically, our E vertically, and our F vertically. Okay, so here's our original. They have a reflection matrix. I don't make you guys memorize this because I think it's kind of silly. All I want you guys to really do is I want you to make a quick little sketch like this with your y and your x-axis and use your brain. So if I have a point here and I'm reflecting over the y-axis, what happens? My x value is the opposite. My y value stays the same. xy becomes negative x comma y. The y value is the same, opposite x. So you just apply that. So this is going to be negative, same, negative, same, negative, same. And my primes are going to look like this. We're about to run out of time, so we're going to pick up on part two. Continue watching on part two of lesson 9.3.